So I'm Professor Gareth Evans. I'm a consultant in medical genetics and cancer epidemiology. I'm also a professor at uh, University of Manchester and I live in North Wales. NF1 is an inherited condition caused by a gene on chromosome 17 and that predisposes to tumors. Now the great majority are benign, but unfortunately there is a significant increased risk of developing malignant cancerous tumors in NF1. I started in Manchester in 1990 and my sort of remit to learn genetics at the time was also to set up a service for inherited cancer and inherited cancer syndromes and we were pretty much the first to demonstrate there was an increased risk uh, of breast cancer in NF1. there's a, a significant risk, probably uh, around a 4% risk of getting breast cancer between 30 and 39. That is a time when cancers are faster growing and that is the danger in NF1. If you don't pick it up early, it will become metastatic. We screen a lot of NF1 women in, in this clinic, uh, the Nightingale Centre here in Manchester, and we will inform women when we see them, if they're in their 30s, that we would start screening at 40. So in terms of what a mammogram involves, it is an X-ray of the breast. So the breast is compressed onto a sort of photographic plate, and they take two views so that you get a different aspect that the radiologist looks at. If you find something on the mammogram, the next step is to get a biopsy. The biopsy is looked at by a pathologist and they decide whether there's cancer. A lot of physicians really know very little about NF1, despite the fact that one in two to two and a half thousand people are born with NF1. That means every general practitioner on average will have one patient with NF1. We have to lobby and try and get access to, to screening, whether it's MRI scans or whether it's uh, mammograms annually from at least 35. I think what I'd like to see is a, is a reliable blood test that detects things early better treatment, so there is a very promising group of drugs now in NF1 called MEK inhibitors. It may be they could be used in breast cancer alongside other treatments. In terms of empowerment, I think it is important to feel you're doing something to help your health, because at the end of the day, if you're not being screened, the only way you know you've got breast cancer is by finding something and going to the doctor.